Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we'll solve this problem from, from Newton's laws of motion from the book SBT. So we have a small disc P that is placed on an inclined plane forming an angle of theta with the horizontal. So the angle of this incline is theta um, and it is imparted an initial velocity of V naught. So we have to find how the velocity of the disc depends on the angle phi, which is basically the angle with the X axis. And the coefficient of friction mu is given to be tan theta and initially, Five is pi by 2 which means it was projected perpendicular to x-axis so we have to find v as a function of phi so let's begin so let's say the particle was uh, projected from this point and it was projected with the velocity v naught perpendicular to the x-axis and at some general time t the particle is over here and its velocity vector is something like this let's say and let's say it makes an angle of phi with the x-axis so let's write down the forces so the one force will be mg sine phi and the force of kinetic friction will be opposite to the velocity vector and its magnitude will be mu times the normal reaction but mu was given to be tan theta so this would be mg sine theta okay so now the interesting so what we have to find is v as a function of phi ax if i try to find out ax that is basically the acceleration of the particle along the x direction this comes out to be g sine phi okay this would be theta by the way this is phi so this would become g sine theta times 1 minus cos phi so the thing is we cannot integrate uh, this expression to get vx because we have a variable phi over here so we need to do something in order to get rid of this phi then our question will be easy so so the acceleration in the normal direction which is basically normal to the velocity vector okay normal to the velocity vector is going to be g sine theta sine phi the acceleration in the tangential direction which is along the velocity vector this comes out to be g sine theta times cos phi minus one and if you see ax and at are negatives of each other so the thing is if you add both of the both of these equations we'll get ax plus a tangential equals zero and now the problem is made super easy because we don't have to care about this phi now so now all we have to do is just integrate uh, integrate this expression with respect to time. So this would be integral ax dt plus integral at dt equals zero. And ax I can write it as dvx by dt. And at is going to be dv, d mod v by dt you could say. And this would simply be the change in vx component of the velocity. And initially the velocity along x direction was zero and at some time t it's going to be v cos phi right. So this left side would become simply v cos phi plus and this would be the, simply the change in modulus of velocity. So that is going to be at this instant the modulus of velocity is v and initially it was v naught. So this would be v minus v naught and this should all add up to zero and from here we can get v as v naught divided by 1 plus cos phi. So that was it for this problem guys. I, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.